It looks like the option tire is going to get an Encore plus a race team that's been a staple in the Xfinity series. Looks like they might be closing their doors for good. Hello everyone, my name is Kyle aka Racing Boy Short and this is my channel where I talk NASCAR, NASCAR news and everything NASCAR. So some of you may have already heard, but JD Motorsports, a team that has been a staple in the Xfinity series starting back up in the 80s, it's been around for a long time, I think the most Notable driver it they've had over the last couple of years was Ross Chastain, who ended up making the playoffs in the Xfinity Series in that car, was really competitive. They have hosted hundreds of drivers. Hundreds of drivers have raced for JD Motorsports. Like I said, it's been a staple in NASCAR for a very long time. Well, back in April, they ended up filing for bankruptcy, laid off. A bunch of employees and then this news came out this week because it sounded like JD Motorsports was not going to make it on to the entry list for Indianapolis this weekend and they are still not on the entry list which is very disappointing. They've even given up their number four race team's owner points. They have been given or sold to the number 45 of Alpha Prime. Very disappointing to see. I know Johnny Davis, the owner of JD Motorsports, has a lot of passion and it sounded like he was trying to get something together for this weekend. It still possibly could happen that he could be on the entry list later on in the weekend, but it seems really, really doubtful at this point. And at this point, we don't even know if we'll see a JD Motorsports car on the track again. Yeah, they've hosted, like I, like I said, they've hosted many different drivers. A couple years ago, they even had four cars out there on the grid almost every week. So it's really unfortunate to see a team like this who's done so much for the sport. Johnny Davis doesn't really make any money off what he's doing. He takes all the money that he gets and puts it right back into this race team. He's, he's an owner that NASCAR really needs. And unfortunately, JD Motorsports could be gone forever. So obviously the JD Motorsports story is a story we might need to follow for the rest of the year because there is a potential that they could make some sort of comeback throughout the year. Maybe even years down the road, JD Motorsports can come back. Because like I said, Johnny Davis has a huge passion for racing and for NASCAR. So I would not be surprised to see him back in the future. But I would also not be surprised if we never see the JD Motorsports cars on the track again. So good luck to all the employees over there at JD Motorsports, Johnny Davis, the drivers that have raced there over the last year or two. Good luck. And I wish everyone the best when it comes to this situation because it's a very unfortunate situation that a lot of smaller teams are actually dealing with right now. Funding just isn't quite there as it's been in years past for NASCAR and the sponsorships supporting the sport. All right, now on to the other story. We talked about this a couple of weeks ago. We were talking about the potential of Richmond bringing back the option tire for its event as it's been rumored for a while. And then over the last week, I've heard more and more higher ups and drivers and personalities talking about it. And then earlier on today, NASCAR finally announced that they are going to do the option tires at Richmond Raceway in August. We're not sure exactly on what order they might have to take these tires. If you remember, for the All-Star Race, they had to start the race on the standard tire. We're not sure if they're going to do something like that this time or not, but they're going to have six regular sets of tires for the Richmond Race, and they'll have two sets of the option tire, the softer set that wears off a lot quicker during the Iowa test, it was reported that these tires fell off in around 15 to 20 laps, but that was also a, a whole new surface on the bottom lane of the track. And also, it was in the middle of the day. It was hot. Richmond, it's not going to be as hot because it will start with the sun beginning 
to go down so it won't be as hot as it would be in the middle of the day, like 2, 3 o'clock. I think the race starts at 6, so it will end in the night. And then for practice, they'll also have one set of the option tires, then two sets of the regular tires. While with qualifying, they have to qualify on the regular Goodyear's, not the option tires, the regular Goodyear's for qualifying. I think this is a very interesting move by NASCAR. They're really trying to improve the racing at tracks like this. I don't know if this is necessarily the best way to go about it. I'd say just add the horsepower and call it a day, but it seems like the OEMs and the higher-ups at NASCAR don't really want that, which is really unfortunate. That being said, though, I do think these tires could and probably will improve the race at Richmond. I'm just, we just keep on adding, I'm just getting tired of us adding all these things when we can just add the horsepower and it would probably be an immediate fix. I've heard from a lot of drivers, a lot of personalities that this would probably be an immediate fix. And if not, they would have to do little tweaks here and there. I think we're just avoiding the real problem here by doing this. But like I said, I do expect this to make it a better race at Richmond than, than what we've had in years past. We'll definitely get some more information on how these option tires may or may not be used at Richmond Raceway. We'll have to see what happens in these next couple of weeks. But give me your thoughts down below. What do you think about NASCAR bringing back the option tires that they used at the All-Star Race, but for Richmond Raceway in August? Also, give me your thoughts on JD Motorsports potentially closing down. Also, if you haven't already, I would appreciate you subscribing to the channel. I do multiple NASCAR videos throughout the week. But that'll do it for me. Thanks for watching. My name is Kyle, aka Racing Boy Short, saying peace.